Today, we will learn the following properties with respect to integers. Have you ever thought what will be the addition of any integer with 0? Let's understand it. Suppose that the value of one apple is plus 1 and the value of one orange is minus 1. When the basket is empty, we will say that the value of basket is 0. Now, if we place 10 apples in the basket, then what will be the value of the basket? Think for a while. You got it right. Since the value of the basket was 0, when 10 apples are placed in it, its value became plus 10. This is because adding 0 to plus 10 gives a value plus 10. Similarly, if we place 8 oranges in an empty basket, then the value of the basket becomes 0 plus minus 8 is equal to minus 8. Therefore, adding any integer 8 to 0 gives the same integer. Since the value of integer doesn't change even if we add 0 to it, we can say that 0 is the additive identity of integers. Now, let's know about the multiplicative identity property of integers. Before knowing this, there is a question for you. Can you tell the number which when multiplied by any integer gives the same integer? Think for a while. You got it right. That number is 1. Now, let's understand this. Suppose we take some red and blue buttons. Consider the value of red button as plus 1 and blue button as minus 1. If we take 10 red buttons and arrange them in a row, then its value can be found like this. 1 into plus 10, which is plus 10. Similarly, if we take 10 blue buttons and arrange them in a row, then its value can be found like this. 1 into minus 10, which is minus 10. By doing this, you can understand that any integer multiplied by 1 gives the same integer. In general form, a into 1 is equal to a and 1 into a is equal to a. Therefore, we can say that 1 is the multiplicative identity of integers. Is minus 1 also a multiplicative identity? Think for a while. Yes, you are absolutely right. When multiplied with minus 1, the value of integer changes. Therefore, minus 1 is not a multiplicative identity. Now, let's understand the additive inverse. Suppose you are standing at position 0. The distance towards your right is measured with positive integers and the distance towards your left is measured with negative integers. If you move 7 meters towards left, then you will reach at minus 7. But if you move 7 meters towards the right, then you will reach at plus 7. Here, you have moved equal distances, but in the opposite direction. That means minus 7 and 7 are at equal distance from 0, but in opposite direction. Any two integers whose position is at equal distance from 0 but in opposite direction are called additive inverse of each other. Similarly, we can say that 3 is to the right side of 0 and minus 3 is to the left side of 0 and the distance from 0 to both numbers is equal. Therefore, 3 and minus 3 are the additive inverse of each other. Now think, what will be the result of adding such numbers? Think for a while. You got it right. Addition of such numbers is 0. Therefore, we can say that two integers, a minus a, whose addition is 0, are the additive inverse of each other. Today, we have learned the following properties with respect to integers. Thank you.